So, and you can feel free if you if you want to take over and write too. But so we have these quadratics that we're going to factor where there's a leading coefficient. And let's look at this one first because it's the most complicated of the three. Um, so we've got three, three. Look at that big fat pen. Three x squared plus that's a thirteen x plus the number four. So <clears throat> a isn't one. And when I see that A isn't 1, um, this, this thing that I do with the X, it's very useful, but I'm not going to be finished when I get that. I'm going to have to do an extra step. Okay. But that, that extra step is not bad. So I call this the AC method of factoring because up here in the top, I'm going to place the product of A and C, and down below, I'm going to press B. Now, just so I see, do, do you know what I mean? What, what are, what's A for this particular quadratic? The... Uh. Three. Yeah, the, that's right. The coefficient of my square term. And what's C? Four. Good. So 3 times 4 is 12. So I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of 12. So again, I'm looking for these numbers. They're going to multiply to get me 12. And when I add them, they when I add them together, I sound like I said Adam as a man's name, but when I add them, it has to be 13. So when I look at this, I like to look at the number 12 in its factored form, which is... You know, it's 2 times 2 times 3. And I always put the 1 in there, too. So I've got 1 times 2 times 2 times 3. And um, so when you look at these, this one's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Of all the ones we've seen, this is crazy easy. What are the two numbers that I'm looking for? 12 and 1. Yeah. And again, what's nice about this, it is going to be a, a, and it doesn't matter the order. What's nice about it is here I see the 12, right? And the, the other number has to be everything that's left over, and it's a 1. So I've got 12 and 1. Now, if my leading coefficient, if A was the number 1, I'd be finished, and I could just write it out. But it's not. So what I do is something called, I'm going to split my middle term, and then I'm going to use something called factoring by grouping. To split this middle term, I'm going to write it as, it's going to be a 1x plus 12x. Right, so I'm just rewriting that thing, and then I'm going to copy everything else down. So I've got the 3x squared plus x plus 12x, and then I'm going to bring down the 4. So in what we do now is we're going to look at the first two terms and factor out its greatest common factor, their greatest common factor, and then look at the second two terms and com factor out their GCF. So what's the GCF of my first two terms? X. Mm -hmm. And when I factor out the x, what am I left with? 3x plus 1. Yeah. What's the GCF of my second two terms? 4. And what do I have once I factor that out? 3x plus 1. Great. So you can see this is always going to happen if, if these are factorable and we've got the right numbers here. We're going to end up with a common binomial factor. They both have a factor of 3x plus 1. You can see it's x times 3x plus 1 and 4 times 3x plus 1. So since that's a common factor, I'm going to bring it out, out in front of them. So I'm going to have this 3x plus 1, and when I factor that out, what's left behind? x plus 4. Yeah. And just to make sure that I'm not crazy, I always kind of pause here and I do, you know, 3x times x is 3x squared. And then I've got the, uh, oh, geogebra, I don't want you. And then I've got... Uh, that's 12 plus 1 is 13, and 1 times 4 is 3. So that's the factored form.